और साथियों अस्सलाम वालेकुम वरहमत लाला वरकत मैं मुजफ्फर आपका फिर से एक बार वेलकम करता हूं इस टॉक शो में जिसका नाम है लाइफ सिंपल है आई होप के ऑल ऑफ यू आर डूइंग वेरी वेल साथियों लाइफ में कई बार हम एंशियस हो जाते हैं कि कल की एक्टिविटी कब होगी कहाँ होगी कैसे होगी और हमारा ये एंशियस होना एक हद तक फ़ायदेमंद है क्योंकि हमें ये आने वाले कल के लिए तैयार करता है लेकिन यही बिहेवियर अगर एक हद से बढ़ जाए तो ये हमारे फिज़िकल और मेंटल हेल्थ पे इफेक्ट करने लगता है आज का हमारा टॉपिक यही है एंगजाइटी इन हमें इस टॉपिक के बारे में जानने के लिए हमने इन्वाइट किया है डॉक्टर जॉन पनेकल को He is a very famous counselor in Bahrain and abroad. He has obtained PhD from University of Texas, USA. He is very social across GCC in the different communities. He is the managing director of Provisi Guidance Center and Educational Institute in Bahrain. Uh, I welcome Dr. John Panekal to the show. How are you sir today? I am fine, thank you very much. Good. How are you feeling being on this show for the first time? Well, uh, I feel very proud of being your uh, guest. this evening most welcome most welcome uh, as i was introducing the talk show uh, that we are going to talk on anxiety um the first question and the first concept about anxiety there are lots of misconception of what it is exactly we normally confuse it with stress so if you can just explain us what stress and what's anxiety in a broader sense uh, stress uh, is uh, a family head okay anxiety and depression are two members of the family okay if you define stress in a wider way there are two types of stresses okay positive and negative all right positive a student who is going to appear for his examination mm mm-hmm. in a minute is waiting for the bell to get into the examination hall he will be stressed okay and that stress is considered as a positive stress okay that stress regenerates his brain mm-hmm. activates the capacity of the brain okay and gives what all things he has studied in the past to appear in the examination in a very well fashion so that improves his efficiency yeah. exactly okay similarly somebody who is contesting in a running race okay is waiting for the final whistle uh-huh he will be stressed yeah and that is a positive stress okay with that stress he will get a good start okay to be a forerunner yeah that is a positive stress but the death of an immediate member of the family yeah uh meeting with a, a fatal accident mm mm-hmm. these are causes of negative stress okay in this stress family there are two elders one is anxiety okay and the other is depression all right anxiety is a concern about tomorrow what's happening tomorrow what's going to what happen? will happen to me tomorrow okay. how would be my tomorrow i am yeah. worried from today okay those people are not living in today they are living in tomorrows yeah all the people who are living in tomorrows would be subjected to a kind of anxiety okay but on the contrary if somebody is thinking always about the past he is living in the past he is living in yesterday okay he would be a subject of depression okay so the difference between depression and anxiety is the the timing depression is of yesterday yeah and anxiety is of tomorrow okay so it looks like depression is is altogether negative uh, aspect but if you focus on anxiety itself is it good to have anxiety as well anxiety has positive and negative aspects if i am getting married tomorrow i may be anxious yeah but there is a good side for that yeah if i am getting into a contest tomorrow that is good i may be anxious about a contest whether i will be a, a pass or a failure but 
that anxiety is a positive anxiety. Yeah. But I, I kind of not really agreeing with the idea that it's a positive one because even if somebody is trying to be ready for tomorrow, he's putting some pressure on himself. Suppose we met with an accident. Yeah. We will be anxious. Yeah. What's happening? How to get rid of this? You will get a kind of positive energy in you. Okay. Because of that anxiety, and you will rise to the occasion and overcome the situation. Okay, but is this, is it normal really to for everyone to to, ro uh, to rise to occasion to get prepared to deliver for for tomorrow? It is a built-in positivity. Okay. In a human being, and okay. that happens. So it's natural that it is natural. We get prepared for. It's the quite common and natural. Okay, that's positive we, side. Yeah. We do not recognize it. We oh, okay. do not acknowledge it. Okay. We consider all anxiety is negative. All oh, right. Okay. Good. That's a problem. That's that's the news for many actually. Exactly. <laughs> so what's the negative part of it? Uh, negative anxiety. Well, we try, try again, and um, even after many trial trials, we fail. Yeah. And uh, it results in uh, a kind of uh, negativity, and we will definitely be a subject uh, of uh, depression then. Oh, okay, okay. So, um, if I want to conclude, a person is under anxiety. What symptoms I should see? I didn't get you. So, if 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 I want to to understand a person, if he's under anxiety, he's feeling some anxiety for something. So, what kind of symptoms I can see from his behavior? Well, or the... um, let let's talk about the negative anxiety. We will call it anxiety. When I say anxiety, it is negative anxiety. Okay. We will not discuss positive anxiety right. here. Okay. The symptoms of uh, negative anxiety are tension. You look at the face of the person. Okay. His muscles are tensed. Okay. You know, you can make it out from the very look of his face. All right. Or his eye movements. Okay. Or his lips, dry lips. Mm. You know, that is tension. Yeah. If somebody is tensed, you can make it out very easily. And nervousness, mm -hmm. a kind of shivering, okay. nervousness. From the talk, it would be clear. Okay. The talk w would not be legible. Yeah. He will be stammering okay. or stuttering. Okay. That is ner nervousness. Then uh, he may be unable to relax. Even if he purposely thinks about relaxation, mm. he will not relax. He will be awake. Okay. Dehydration. Okay. Dehydration is another symptom. Mm. Fear of the worst. Something worse is going to happen to me. Okay. Anticipation, I mean. Exactly. Just anticipate something uh, bad or worst could happen. Fear of the worst. Okay. They will not uh, think about the good to come. They will always think about the words to come. Okay. And then a very peculiar uh, symptom is that the world is speeding up or l slowing down. The world is speeding up. world ah. around me is speeding up. Why it is running fast? Or in the reverse order, slowing down. So he, Why it is not moving? Okay. So he thinks the world is not behaving normally. Either it's too fast for him or it's too slow for him. Uh, okay, okay. So is it this this kind of uh, symptoms? This is uh, you observe mostly in all kind of all ages of people, or the specific like all, only the one which are well versed or which are grown ups, not in the children or females. Or is there any in any? all the age groups? All age groups. Yes, yes, yes. How about children as well? Even children go under anxiety. Exactly. Normally we see they are very bubbly, with they are going around playing and... We call it hyperactivity. Okay. But it is a kind of anxiety. Oh really, okay. okay normally we tend to forget children about yeah. anxiety. And these people doubt others. They don't trust anybody. Okay. Okay, good. Um, so if, if, I, if I see the modern life and especially what happened in, in previous few years, so, are there any any new kind of impacts of the present life on the on the person, so that he's becoming more anxious day by day? Are you feeling that before, like 10, 20 years back, 
people that not used to be that anxi- uh, anxious now they are getting more anxious and more kind of uh, the percentage of people suffering from anxiety is increasing day by day and what you see is see is the root cause of that 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 trend the main cause of this is that we want result immediately Okay. We were patient enough in the past to see the result, slow okay. and steady. Okay. But no, not now. We want everything fast. Okay. I want to see the result on the spot. This attitude develops in human beings, and the current generation is a prey for this. Yeah. Okay. Eventually, what happens? They are anxious. Yeah. but that that's trend of the business now you know uh, every business they want to grow as soon as possible as fast as possible so they they put pressure on on the employees on the clients on the contractors on any anywhere they can put the pressure on so they want to grow as as, as quick as possible so uh, it is a trend i mean we cannot deny the world is moving fast we yeah. can't blame anybody but we have to cope with the situation So if someone not able to cope up with the situation what's was the what's he will the be suffering out? from anxiety disorder so what was the way out i mean we cannot well there are many ways yeah there are many ways to be uh, free from uh, anxiety social media enhances connection okay let's talk about the social media yeah social media enhances connection increases self esteem and improve a sense of belongings okay but i i on, on social media i am kind of not on the same page as you because what i see uh, um watching social media for example uh, facebook or, or youtube uh, your friend is going somewhere and you know sending pictures on on, on social media and you feel i am not able to do it how can i reach to that level and you feel more anxious so it's basically looks like a negative impact of the social media rather than a positive it has positive and negative impacts as i said a while ago it enhances connection fair enough yeah it increases self esteem that i am connected with so and so people i am in an elite position my self esteem is boosted yeah okay sense of relief kind that of that is a positive aspect of yeah, social yeah, media yeah, yeah yeah and the third one is a sense of belonging yeah that i have these people around me but it leads to stress phobia of comparison exactly yeah. this is my my point was leads to sadness and isolation he has that i don't have that yeah sadness and isolation it is strongly recommended to have a mindful use of social media it is recommended to have a mindful, mindful use yes. of social media and align the word mindful yeah <laughs> yes not in excess yeah okay excessive bubbling will lead you to depression or anxiety all right okay but that's 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 normal i mean today's life especially children they don't they don't tend to realize where they are leading to and they just keep watching and keep watching keep talking and a day it looks like they are under depression or anxiety they have to be guided by their parents okay if the parents and children are together involved in uh, excessive use of social media and gadgets okay and what note and what note all right okay definitely they will look at you and they will take you as the model correct yeah. yeah yeah in other words you have to be model to them correct you yeah. have to guide the young generation to the right path correct yeah and correct them if required correct so the responsibility of guiding children boils down to the parents how they behave how they train how they control their children for uh, using social media and other things yeah the need of good parenting is a need of the hour now Oh well, good, good. Um, I will, I will uh, speak on two segments of people. Um, one is the working professionals. How's your experience with working professional about their anxiety and root causes for them? The working class or working professionals will suffer from long hours of work. Okay. Reason number one: 
heavy workload yeah reason number 2 job insecurity particularly in this part of the world okay job insecurity conflicts with the coworkers and bosses yeah these are all the common reasons of, of anxiety in working professionals But these are very common in, in any any company any working atmosphere these are the very common true. things true you are you are very much true but it is a cause of anxiety anxiety okay so f- for example if someone is able to cope up with anxiety he understands what's going around uh, he is not uh, going towards anxiety he is only, only taking the positivities from anxiety but someone who is really on the negative side of anxiety he's suffering his mental health is not getting better so what's what's the the way out for him how what sh- he shall do just to avoid this kind of stuff oh yeah there is a way he, he has to identify a trustworthy person okay and open up his mind is this process in psychology is known as catheterization again sorry catheterization okay catheterization you catheterize himself or oneself okay. if one catheterizes himself okay then it is a kind of evaporating your uh, inner accumulated feelings okay burning your accumulated feelings open opening up the bag of anxiety okay. and expressing it in front of a trustworthy friend okay so if if you are like social and you can talk to somebody physically not really just on typing and you know on social media maybe that's really helps in getting out of the anxiety for that you. helps that yeah. helps there are many uh, social groups <clears throat> who are counseling such people online okay i think i think this is a very important point for those who are suffering from anxiety at workplaces that they should have someone or a group which is doing the social work work for the people and he should associate himself so that he feel real relieved and relaxed and he come out of that anxiety period yeah um second a group of people i was uh, looking at was for the women um for house makers who are living alone and uh, not really social going around um and how how i mean what's your experience with them uh, to be under anxiety but that that is quite natural these people who are working as housemates yeah they may have their own limitations yeah to expose themselves to the society restrictions so on and so forth yeah so as and when they get time they have to interact with the people of their society yeah and to relax and go for a counseling if possible they can ask the uh, house owners or the family senior family members to subject to them for a kind of counseling every month or at least once in 3 months so you 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 normally get uh, cases where the housewives they are under anxiety they are under depression and they come to you for some kind of a solution they are not okay what kind of um, uh, symptoms and, and you know problems they are facing because of the ill treatment from the family members in which they are working as okay. housemates because of uh, the tension from their own home yeah. back in their home country okay issues which okay. they can't solve because of financial congestion okay because of ill treatment as they are ladies hmm. there are many reasons for that okay okay so even for the house ladies uh, house makers it's essential to have somebody to talk to somebody reliable uh, to go out and to to, to seek some kind of relaxation um and talk to them and to come out of that phase of anxiety yeah um i would like to use a little bit of your experience uh, and if you can just inform us uh, one of the cases you have handled from symptoms to the uh, to to the to the successful um uh, treatment of that person i have a case of a lady okay who could not fly for 20 years my god okay she suffered from fear of flying oh okay because when she came first to bahrain okay she, uh, the aeroplane in which she was traveling had a, a turbulence <laughs> okay. it went into the air pocket okay and it turned around oh really okay and the moment she realized that he she was about to die 
yeah. and she just escaped okay she developed a kind of depression in her and a phobia in her i shall not fly again okay for 20 years she did not fly 20 years that's a long, long period yeah yes then she was brought to us mm mm-hmm. and we tried uh, to convince her that it is the most safest type of journey now we have a land transport sea transport and air transport air transport is the most safest tra- kind of travel nowadays mm-hmm. why don't you try yeah okay she refused we took a ticket for her okay saying that i shall accompany you come along with me okay she came up to the airport and refused wow okay second time again after a lot of convincing attempts okay she agreed that she would travel with me mm. a second time ticket was taken we went to the airport she cleared the immigration and then she went back oh okay continuous efforts were made then okay and finally she succeeded in traveling with me and her husband mm-hmm. and she is free from the phobia of flying now she travels every month she is an executive officer of a big contracting company wow. here that's a great story yes Good. this is the effect of counseling um i think that's that's quite exciting story of the the lady you just said uh, i mean who didn't travel for 20 years but Uh, what i understand from this story is that you have to talk her a lot of time you have tried to convince her a lot of time and even then sometimes she went back from the airport itself so what kind of really techniques or therapies you are using um, to convince such kind of uh, cases people suffer from depression and anxiety yeah or rather stress because of the accumulated past life experiences Okay. And because of the fear of the future right. in their subconscious mind. Sure. Human beings have got two minds, conscious mind and subconscious mind. Okay. Subconscious mind is a storage place for all the past feelings, mm. experiences, sufferings mm. and what not and what not. Mm. If you take out such feelings from the subconscious, mm. that is a good process of catharsis catharsis is a process mm-hmm. that burns all the feelings okay in the subconscious mind of a person mm-hmm. through talking you allow her okay. Okay. to talk talk and talk let her take out all the feelings in her subconscious mind all the ill wills or ill feelings she has built in mm, mm, the mm. past let her burn it out this burning process by talking about it to yeah. a second person say a counselor okay. is known as catharsis okay subject your client to catharsis okay and listen to that person yeah. effective listening is the best skill for a counselor okay now the problem is that there is none to listen to us around us <laughs> correct yeah nobody is free everybody is to busy. listen exactly everybody yeah. is busy correct, with yeah. some other uh, types of work yeah 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 so if you are lending your ears to someone yeah to listen that itself is a process of healing yeah through catharsis this lady gets healed okay. and then she responds to your plea yeah but i think this one one uh, technical issue with that um that such kind of cases they don't really speak out they keep things with their hearts i mean they don't want to speak so what's how how you trigger them to to start talking about their failures and what happened in the past to an unfriendly person they will not open up this is what yeah you have to establish a rapport with the person oh okay it takes longer time yeah it takes a muscle see you establish a rapport first and create a situation that you are trustworthy to the your client okay you okay. must build confidence in your client about you okay good 
So it must be taking a longer time, maybe like multiple sessions. In 10 minutes, we can establish. Really? Okay. If you're skilled enough. In 10 minutes time, we can establish a rapport with the person sitting uh, in front uh, of okay. us. Okay. I mean, that should be really... Special. If you're reserved, you can't. Yeah, but that should, that should be really special techniques and I think... Exactly. Um, I should come sometimes and say... In counseling, <laughs> in counseling classes, we teach them the techniques okay. to establish rapport in the beginning. Unless you establish a rapport with the client, you are not going to get anything from the client. The client will shut his mouth and refuse to talk and she, she or he will show symptoms just to escape from you. Very yeah, good. Uh, I think that's, that's a quite, quite um, ecstatic story of, of a woman who didn't fly for 20 years and now she's flying every month. Every that's, month. Yeah, that's, that's really amazing. Do you have any, any, any kind of uh, case coming to you from the, uh, the working class, uh, men working in companies, uh, they, they've gone under anxiety and that case came to you? Many. Many. Any, any example from your experience? From the working class? Yeah. Uh, okay. Today I met with a guy okay. who is excellent in qualification, exemplary in her work, but when he does his work, his colleagues are watching him, he feels so. So he Why? feels so, yeah, okay. Yeah, he feels so. Why his colleagues are watching him? Okay. Do they envy me? Yeah. Envy on me? It may be a trouble. This, these people may cause trouble to my future. Uh -huh. And by four o'clock, he's fused. Oh, okay. He's very charged in the morning. Uh -huh. He's charged even in the afternoon. But by four o'clock, towards the end of the day, mm. he's fused. Mm. He gets tired and go home in despair. Mm. He doesn't get sleep. Mm. Fortunately, every morning he get up. Mm. He gets up and go to the work place without any trouble. Okay. But every evening he is tired. Evening phobia. Mm. Evening problem. Evening tension because of the paranoia he built in himself, mm. the doubt he built in himself about his colleagues at work. Yeah. It's what is the solution for this? Yeah. Exposure therapy is fine. Get in friendship with them, mm. go to their residence, yeah. or invite them for a cup of coffee. Mm. sit in a coffee shop or a restaurant, talk with them and finally win them as your friends. Okay. okay. That is the best solution. There is also a concern about his future. That's, I mean, no one can predict what's in the future. So how, how do you deal with the guys who think more about the future? Like, my job is in insecure. I could be fired because these guys may be spying on me and reporting to the boss those kind of uh, situations, how, how do you, how do you uh, deal with those guys who, who are Nobody can the foster the future by itself. Nobody can foster the future. What mm. will happen to me tomorrow? You can only assume. Only assumption, yeah. The best solution for it is live in today. Live in the present. Okay. Today is a gift for me. Okay. I shall make use of today the maximum I can. Okay. And that is the best remedy for future apprehension. The okay. worry about future. Okay. Yeah, anything may happen to anybody tomorrow. Yeah. Who can predict? Even the next breath is not a guarantee. Correct, yeah. To anyone. Yeah. So you try to live today. Today, yeah, yeah. The maximum you can. With the serenity, peace, compassion, Correct. and so on and so forth. Correct, yeah. Eventually, your today will be tomorrow. Correct, yeah. So, if, if I see uh, many expatriates working in GCC countries in general, uh, they're concerned more about the future. I mean, my job will be here for how many months? How many years? I've invested here and there. How, how gonna, I'm going to cope up with those situations? And that leads to uh, a pressure on them. I mean, they are very anxious about tomorrow. 
I would tell him to think about today saying that I am happy that I am here today. I am happy that I am here today. Okay. Many people left this country, but still I am here today. I am happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's, it's amazing when, when I was speaking to you, it's, it's been 45 years, yeah? You are in GCC? 50. 50 years, mashallah. Okay, that's that's uh, achievement. Amazing, really. Okay, good. Um, I'm, I'm coming towards the conclusion of this show, uh, but before that, I would like to know uh, what are the symptoms when a person should realize now he should, he needs uh, a counseling or, or the uh, the uh, the parents or the friends realize that no this guy is counseling now i mean he's getting out of control well the uh, usual symptoms are withdrawal from social life okay. he doesn't want to mingle with anybody he wants solitude mm -hmm. living alone not interacting with anyone yeah. there is no social life at all for someone okay then it is a difficulty in going for work i don't want to go for work really okay a morning trouble a starting trouble oh, okay. i don't want to go for work it happens to certain students also i don't want to go to the school yes yeah okay then avoid certain places and people i don't want to go there i don't want to see that man Ah, okay. Avoiding certain places and people, hesitation to try new things. Can, can you try this? No, I don't want to try. I'm not experienced in that. Mm -hmm. I don't want to try a new thing. Mm -hmm. I may be a failure. Mm -hmm. Fear of failure. Yeah, okay. He doesn't want to try a new thing. Okay. Turning down opportunities. Okay. Believe you me, we have opportunities every moment around us. Correct, yeah. If you identify the opportunity yes. in the right way, at the right time, yeah. then life is beautiful. Correct, yeah. yeah. Many opportunities are there around us. But some people cannot identify the opportunities. To identify the opportunities, you have to face problems. Exactly, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Every problem has an underlying opportunity. Exactly. Yeah. So if you face the problems, you will identify the underlying opportunity. Correct. Yeah. It goes in circle. Basically. Exactly. <laughs> Good. Some people are not ready to face problems. Yeah. And eventually, they will not get opportunities. Yeah. They don't want to. Okay. If you get an opportunity, turn down that opportunity in favor of you. <clears throat> okay. In other words, problems are coming to me in favor of me. Yeah. Okay. I shall derive opportunities from the problem. Correct, yeah. yeah. If yeah. that is your philosophy in your life every day, then you are a success. Correct. So, uh, I mean, if we find somebody doing all those symptoms, maybe we should refer him to consult with a counselor. Yeah. So during counseling, is it is it really kind of a, a physical exercises, or is it just a verbal technique? So how how it goes? Counseling is a treatment physically and mentally. Both. Yeah. Both. Okay. In fact, it is a kind of boosting of mental health. Okay. Good. 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 I think um, yeah, that's that's a good good suggestion and recommendation. Um, I would like to um, conclude on this note because this is very important for us to have a good mental health. If you want to grow, if you want to improve yourself, if you want to go in your career, in your social activities, you have to be out of anxiety uh, and you have to be fit in your mental health as well. So, um, Satyo, with this uh, message, inshallah, I will finish this program today. I hope that you will like our program. आपको कोई कमेंट है तो इंशाल्लाह जरूर आप हमें कमेंट कीजिएगा हम उस पे गौर करेंगे और कोई आपके नजर में टॉपिक भी है तो सजेस्ट कीजिएगा इंशाल्लाह हम कोई एक्सपर्ट ढूंढ कर पे एक एपिसोड जरूर रिकॉर्ड करेंगे तो जकल खैर सलाम अलैकुम व रहमतुल्लाहि व बरकातहू